Good morning, sports fans. I'm Serena. And I'm Madarius. It's a great day here on our campus. Yeah, some of the Philip O'Brien Lions have already arrived and are warming up to start the day. Ladarius, what do you think the keys to success will be on the academic field for the Lions? Well, what I think they'll have to do to pull through with the win is to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Ain't you know what, Ladarius? I think it looks like some of the Lions are already in good shape. Yeah, they're dressed out and ready to participate in sports day. Good job for earning enough PBS points, Lions. Now let's go to the teleprompter to show you some of the top plays that earned us our points. First up is Miss Adams' class with the high-paced action of being ready to learn. Now stop right there. See what she did? She raised her hand instead of blurting out. Great play. Look at that straight line. Instead of turning left, they kept it going. They could go all the way with a lion token. Great job, guys. Now here's Jakira with the top five plays in the cafeteria. Thanks, Jakira. Pizza will surely be a slam dunk. Now let's cut on over to Aaron with our weather forecast. Thanks, Mr. Walkathon Man. So get out there and get those sponsors. Well, that's our show for today. Keep it sporty, Lions. And we'll see you tomorrow, Lions. Good morning, Lions. Well, we're not having such a good morning. Oh, my back hurts so bad I had to sit down a little. Bitch. And my feet are killing me. I think they're swollen. Yeah, maybe you should soak those things in some hot water. Now I know what it must be like to be a hundred years old. <coughs> mm. I suddenly feel young again, Serena. Yeah, me too. I don't want to be a hundred years old. Me neither, but it is the hundred day of school. So let's celebrate. Hey, Serena, I wonder if there's a hundred students celebrating their birthday today. Probably not, but we'll find out later on today's show. And one of our Sunshine State readers is the 100 year old secret. Aaron has a book talk on that coming up. And speaking of reading, there are two students who have joined the 100 AI Point Club. Yeah, I hope you get 100 more. And guess what, Lions? Today is picture day. A picture is something you can treasure for 100 years. Now, let's get this show going 100 miles per hour. That's our show for today. Have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow, Lions. Bye. So, hair brushed. Check. Teeth brushed. Check. Ears clean. Check. Then you're ready for a picture day. Thanks. Hey, Ladaris, is that a spider up there? Ew, I think it is. I hate spiders. Well, should I try to get rid of it? Maybe not. Let's just leave it up there and get on with today's show. Well, if you want to do it the easy way. Well, today is Monday, October 31st, 2011. Halloween. I'm Adarius, the mad scientist. <laughs> and I'm Serena, the pretty princess. And speaking of Halloween, Aaron has some safety tips for you trick-or-treaters. Plus, some first graders made something very unusual with some pumpkins. We're going to check that out later on today's show. But for now, let's creep on over to today's lunch menu. Javen, tell us what those items are. Those were some cool storybook pumpkins, Miss Nichols class. And Mr. Murray's class, too. They were a treat to look at, you guys. Hey, Ladaris, are you going trick-or-treating tonight? Of course, Serena. And what about you, Lions? Well, Aaron has some safety tips that I bet you want to follow. That's our show for today. Have a safe and happy Halloween. Hey, Ladaris, maybe we should get rid of that spider now. In just a moment. Until next time on Lion Kingdom News. Good morning, Lions. Christmas is in the air. Mmm, there's nothing that smells better than a fresh Christmas tree. There are tall ones, small ones, fat ones, and skinny ones. So take your pick. And where can you pick up one of these beautiful trees? At the United Methodist Temple on South Florida Avenue. In fact, Erin is here with one of the volunteers to talk about the Christmas trees. Let's go see what she's up to now. Thanks, Erin. Hey, Serena, th this scotch pine tree is really gorgeous. Yeah, this is the kind of tree that you can sit by the fire and drink hot cocoa. Talking about all this cocoa is making me hungry. Then let's tell the lunch menu. Today's lunch is flatbread pizza, corn, and milk. Have a great lunch, Lions. 
Well, that's a wrap for today. Yeah, I need to go home and wrap some presents. Me too. But for now, let's head on home. The sun did not shine, it was too wet to play. So we sat in the house on that cold, cold, wet day. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. And there we saw him, the cat in the hat. There's no doubt about that. So, cat in the hat, just why are you here? To help you do the show, my dear. So here we go. Let's get on with the show. And as you know, today is the day that we remember Dr. Seuss's birthday. It's March 2nd, 2012, and we hope you are all doing very well. We have some trivia on Dr. Seuss's books to tell. So now here are the clues that we're about to sell. Who hears a who? Horton, that's who. What movie is out in theaters today? The Lorax. How many stripes are on the Cat in the Hat's hat? Well, five, of course. And to add to that, I'm Dr. Seuss's most popular character, the Cat in the Hat. I know he likes to eat. So how about we go to the lunch menu to see what they're serving for me? Greetings, Lions. I'm Serena. And I'm Adarius. Today is Friday, November 11, 2011, Veterans Day. Also the last day of the book fair, and we're here to make some final suggestions. For all you Star Wars fans, take a look at all these titles. There's a visual dictionary, a character encyclopedia, and one of my favorites, Star Wars The Clone Wars for third through fifth grade. And I like this Star Wars book for kindergarten through second grade. And the best part is, it's in Lego form. So if you love Star Wars, think about buying these books at the book fair. Now let's take a look at another book featured at our book fair. See if you can survive it. Hey Lions! We didn't know that math could be so fun and delicious. Yeah, we're hanging out family academic night enjoying the edible math activities. I'm having a fantastic time with Cheez-Its. Did you know that one cheesy equals one square inch? No, I did not know that, Ladarius. I'm learning something new every day. Well, that's what we go to school for. So, what are you working on? I'm graphing with M&Ms. Well, I see that the orange has the most. Yeah, and the red one is the least. So what are you doing? Well, I'm using cheeses to find the area of this shape. That's cool. I wonder what the whole area of this room is. Well, I know one thing. It'll take a lot of cheeses. Yeah, I will. Well, I'm starting to feel hungry. So maybe we should go get some pizza in the cafeteria and finish up these activities later. Later on today's show, we'll tell you what you're having for lunch today. We're standing just outside of Whoville. And who can enter Whoville, you ask? Why you? You who have met our school expectations by being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn for the month of December. You can dress like a who, walk like a who, and talk like a who. And who can do all this? Why you, that's who. Hey, I wonder if the Grinch is going to be there. That's for you to find out. So stay tuned for times that you will visit the magical world of Whoville. And we'll be right back after the lunch menu. I hope it's green eggs and ham. Ooh, Grinch delicious. Hey, Lions. Today is Friday, October 28, 2011. And Serena and I are at Lace Salon in South Lakeland getting our hair ready for crazy hair day. And it looks like you've gotten a little crazy with your hair too, Lions. That means that you must have met our school expectations by being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Hey, Ladarius, did you wear some crazy socks too? I sure did. Don't they look pretty silly? They sure do. But look at your socks. They look real silly. And they have spider webs on them. Spooky. I think it's time to come out from under these hair dryers. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, Three. Wow, Serena, your hair looks pretty crazy. Yours too, Ladarius. Hey, I got a great idea. What's that? Maybe we should wear our hair like this for Halloween too. That's a great idea. But for now, let's go to Crazy Hair Aaron with our weather forecast. How, Lions? 
Today is Friday, November 18th, 2011. I'm Chief Cougar. And I'm Princess Wildflower. As you can see, we've gone back in time to the days of the Indians during their first Thanksgiving. That's right, Chief Cougar. In fact, we're getting ready to feast with our fellow pilgrims. I think I smell turkey. And the stuffing too. Is that cornbread I see on the table? I think so, so how about we go help? Okay, while we're doing that, here's Damon to tell what you're gonna be feasting on in the cafeteria. Boy, that food was delicious. I'm stuffed. Well, we hope you get stuff with your family and friends on Thanksgiving too. And we hope you have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you soon, Lions.